So today I'll be talking about my journey into transportation and geography. And in terms of why I became a geographer, um, going into my undergraduate studies at Rutgers University, um, I was very interested in solving a lot of today's urgent issues and wanting to change the world. And a lot of these issues revolved around environmental um, sustainability. And from taking a couple of geography classes early on freshman year, I came to learn how a lot of these problems were very complex and multifaceted, and you had to look at them through different dimensions. And that's what really attracted me to geography as a field of study. Um, and from then, I was also interested in learning the capabilities of GIS as a powerful problem-solving tool. My interest in urban transportation, I would say, stems from my interest in cities. And growing up in banal New Jersey suburbia, um, I always enjoyed going to nearby New York. And from there, um, well, going there, I was exposed to various transportation modes like railways and subways and buses, and seeing how a lot of people in the city depended on those modes to get to their destinations, it really showed me how mobility and public transportation are essential components to a functioning city. And going to an urban university like Rutgers, um, I also relied on the extensive bus system uh, to get around to different campuses. Um, I'm also very fascinated with great documentaries, and watching certain documentaries on sustainability in smart cities really showed me how these specific modes that I saw in New York were very environmentally efficient, and also how big data is capable of um, making city transportation, transportation systems more sustainable. Um, I think right now it's very important to be promoting sustainable modes of transportation because cities are the future. Right now, more than half the world's population lives in a city, and by mid-century, that is projected to increase to around 70%. And I think and that growth in population puts an increased stress on the demand for transportation. And to meet that with an increase in automobiles is very inefficient because of the negative externalities associated with cars, such as greenhouse gas emissions, which exacerbates climate change, uh, as well as the in, uh, release of air pollutants like nitrous, ox nitrous oxide, which can um, you know, put our health at risk. Um, so I think for um, future cities, it should be a priority to make sustainable modes of transportation more accessible. Um, and after completing an NSF RU program at Texas a and I was very inspired to continue my studies in geography at the graduate level and undertake research in transportation. And um, I was very interested in integrating transportation with GIS and new data uh, to study accessibility at finer scales. And coming to Ohio State, um, it was very exciting to see Harvey Miller um, sharing the same research interests that I have. Um, and although I don't have a particular project yet, um, some of the topics that I'm very interested in are um, you know, researching the dynamics of urban child behavior, um, the capabilities of big data in analyzing mobility in real time, and also understanding the link between accessibility and social dimensions. Um, and I'll leave you with some research questions. So, what new insights regarding accessibility uh, patterns can real time data show? And how are human dimensions of mobility impacted by traditional transit planning needs? And how can modeling uh, of accessibility be improved with real time travel data? Oh, thank you very much.